I've been a firefighter for 15 years. Uh, and if I would say what was the most rewarding, being aware of how fragile life can be and the importance of relationship. My husband never gets sick and it's actually a prideful thing for him. He hardly ever goes to the doctor and his blood pressure's low and his cholesterol's low and his labs are always, you know, picture perfect. So he's really, really healthy. Usually my workday routine starts up anytime between 4.30 and 5. I'll get up, I'll go straight to make coffee and then go through my uh, daily routine. But apparently uh, this morning was different. I heard this bump in the bathroom, and then I hear this thump, 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 thump. So I walk down the hall, open up the bathroom door, and he's on the floor, seizing. He's in a full grand mal seizure, and being a nurse for 32 years, I know you just push, pull someone on their side and let them stop seizing. There's not a whole lot you can do. And so I grab my phone, and you try call 911 when you're, <laughs> and it's like this. It was like 92, 92. <laughs> I had to do it so many times. I just started CPR and I couldn't believe that it was happening. And then I hear the firefighters and then I just said, back here. Right at the point we recognized it, it was uh, Dwayne started CPR, put on the AED and uh, just went through our proper procedures. They shocked him and he didn't come back. And they shocked him again and he didn't come back. And they shocked him a third time and then they got a rhythm. From there, one of our firefighters went in with the ambulance and we followed them to the hospital. And the ambulance arrived just about quarter after seven, lights and sirens, and we were all ready for, for a very unstable situation. Turned out he was very stable. The most important part of Duane's treatment took place before he got to Wilcox Hospital. Sammy herself had done CPR on him for over five minutes, but her five minutes is a huge reason why his heart was in good shape. And down the road, it gave him a much better chance of having neurological um, good outcome. I was really glad when I got to the, um, the ER that Dr. Downs was working because he's a friend of mine because I worked at the hospital. And then I began to put two and two together that this was Duane, a, a man I'd known over 20 years, and, and Sammy, who I'd known for over 20 years. And this got to be pretty intense emotionally for me. And when I first saw Monty, he goes, Dr. Downs, Sammy, it doesn't look good. And I said, I know. Dwayne was in the classic uh, situation of his heart survived the cardiac arrest. And now, uh, because he was comatose, the issue was maximize the chance for him coming back to normal neurologically. We found out in the last few years that cooling people down plays a huge uh, role and gives them a better chance to have a good neurological outcome. And once I figured that out, I called Straub right away and said, hey, we have a man that needs therapeutic hypothermia and we need to get him over to you. There is a special invasive catheter to do this. He needed potentially uh, invasive cardiac care. And so the plan to ship him over the ocean to Straub was appropriate because we are a major cardiac center and he had suffered cardiac arrest. They kept him in that coma, and throughout the night, the night nurse would periodically bring um, the medications down to see if he would respond, and she said he was following her. So he, she said that was a really good sign. When he finally realized, you know, hey, everybody's here, and you know, you guys hungry? You wanna go eat lunch? We're like, we, you can't go anywhere. You gotta wait to get better. And he goes, how much better can I be? From the time he hit Wilcox to the time he went out of our hospital was less than a week. And that's just incredible considering it was a, a fatal situation at the outset. And it's been uh, seven months since my cardiac arrest to be back to health and being able to walk my last daughter, my baby down the aisle was definitely huge. 
Actually, what I really love about Dwayne's story is that the healthcare system worked all the way from what I call the bottom up, like a pyramid. The bottom plane of the pyramid is really all the people in the community. And the more people who can do CPR, the better off our community is. And then the pyramid starts to work its way up to uh, the first responders, the firefighters, then the paramedics who have medications that they can give en route. Then the emergency room, we have our specialized care with CAT scans. And then the Straub cath lab is kind of the top of this pyramid. And it all came together as one. The chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And in this case, all the links were solid and we had a wonderful outcome.